Hello and welcome to Cupcake Addiction's Vintage Buttercream Rose Cupcake Tutorial where I'll be showing you how to make this gorgeous, very detailed, intricate buttercream rose cupcake. Tools and equipment that we will be using today, I have my cupcake ready for frosting, I'm using a disposable piping bag, you can use any piping bag you like, and I'm pairing that with a Wilton number 406 piping tip. Now the Wilton piping tip, it's a rose petal piping tip, you'll see one end is slightly fatter, one end is slightly thinner or more pointy, it doesn't matter which size rose tip you use, but you will need a rose tip for this tutorial. And I've got a little bit of our perfectly pipeable buttercream frosting which I've tinted a dusky pink. If you are going to use our buttercream frosting recipe and tutorial found on our channel My Cupcake Addiction, eliminate the milk that is required in that tutorial. You want a really nice firm frosting for piping this rose. It's still going to taste absolutely delicious, it's just going to be a little bit easier, a little bit better to hold up under its own weight. Firstly we're just going to slide in our piping nozzle. I can get it in there. There we go. And spoon in some of that lovely frosting. So you'll see there that frosting's really quite thick and I've got to push it off the spoon. Now take that frosting and push it down into the end of the bag. I like to just squeeze it all out of the end and give the end a little twist so that there's no frosting coming up and I guess messing up the top for me. So I'm going to squeeze it until I can just see it coming out the end of the piping nozzle. Now when you're working with these nozzles, when you're making your rose petals, you always want the skinnier or the smaller tip of the rose nozzle to be facing up. So the fatter tip is down and the skinnier tip is up. First things first, I'm just going to just squeeze a little bit of a ruffle, I guess you'd call it. And this is just going to be just in case you see any of the actual cupcake through any of those lovely rose petals. So it's just giving us a bit of a basis to pipe onto. And across the top. That's actually kind of pretty as it is. Now to give us a bit of a, a bit of a mound to start working with, I'm just going to squeeze just like that. Now holding the piping nozzle, I'm just going to wrap a bit of that frosting around in a bit of a curl or a cone. You can see there I'm turning the cupcake rather than the piping bag. This is just going to form the centre bud of our rose. Now from here, you want to start flicking with the wrist. So as I pipe these petals, I'm actually going to be flicking outwards with the wrist to give us that lovely open rose look. So starting at that frosting that you've piped onto the actual cupcake and going up in a semicircle, flicking out with the wrist, join it back up to that cupcake. And again, now the more you flick it out, the more your rose is going to open up. The more you stay in, the more your rose is going to stay in. If you're finding, see this one here, I kind of want that to flick out a little bit more, you can just use your finger and just push it out. I like to start with five petals in the middle and then as you're going across, you just want to cover up these little creases. So you're basically piping a new petal over the join of the two old petals. Around we go. And you just keep going. As you get out further around the cupcake, you're going to need to start doing bigger swipes, so bigger petals. You can see there it's okay if you do bring up a little bit of that frosting. We can go and fix that up later. Now once you get to about this stage, I'm going to put in, I guess, some, some smaller petals. And that's going to be just to hold everything together. So I'm just going to put in just a few nice, small, tight, neat petals. And that's just going to form a little bit of a, a side wall and that's going to keep all of those other petals up. And then we'll go and do our outside edge. Once you get the hang of this, and it even took me a few tries to get the hang of this one, once you get the hang of it, it really is quite easy. It's just getting that wrist action and making sure that you keep as clean of a piping nozzle as possible. Once again, with that small pointy tip up, back to the big ones again. This is going to be the last layer of really big ones that we're going to do. 
Now, once you get to about this stage, we're just going to go and even it up. So you might have, you can see there, mine's a little bit lopsided, it needs a little bit more over this side. That side's looking good. So I'm just going to pop around the edges and just add in a few more petals wherever I think they're needed. Doesn't matter if they're big ones, doesn't matter if they're small ones. In fact, little small ones are actually quite good around the edges, just to once again hold everything in place. Another one or two here. There you have your absolutely gorgeous vintage buttercream frosting rose cupcake. I think you'll agree. Nowhere near as hard as it looks. Very effective and sure to look gorgeous on your cupcake tower. If you love our tutorials, make sure that you subscribe to our channel. We bring out new tutorials every week. We're always trying to keep you up to date on what's going on in the world of cakes and cupcakes. Thanks very much for watching.